Welcome to a quest for metal. Today we are ranking Carcass albums from my least favourite to my favourite. And you guys voted for it. I gave you a poll of loads of different bands to vote for. And you all picked Carcass, beating out bands like Motorhead and Dio. I was like, what the fuck? You guys voted for it. And here we are for some Carcass time, for some English death metal. Now, they have a lot of different kind of genres within the music. You know, they've got death metal, you've got gore grinds, you've got whatever <laughs> death and roll, you know, in Swan Song. I was going to say whatever the fuck is on Swan Song, but it's death and, death and roll, I think. Yeah, lot to get through. So you know the drill. Before we get started with my list, pop yours down in the comments below. What's your favourite Carcass album? What's your least favourite? And I guess let's just get stuck in. So coming in bottom for me is Reek of Putrefaction. Now, um, I'm not the biggest... Um, grind core, gore grind or grind anything kind of fan. So it's most of the people on the channel probably know this will be last. Um, some people are probably up in arms that Swan Song isn't last. Well, spoiler alert, I fucking like that album. It's actually good. But, but this one, I don't like. This is the only one I don't like by Carcass. Um, I don't think they have a flawless discography. Maybe if you like this kind of music, you, you think they have a flawless discography. But for me, I don't like this one. I don't like when songs are like one minute long. I don't like grind really as a whole. Um, I, I like long songs. I'm a prog guy. You know, I like long songs. I don't like short songs like this. Um, I just think they do it so much better on the next album. The next album, massive step up from this. I mean, this, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. It's just the sound of it. I don't like it. So I can't really pick out songs that I enjoy from this album because I don't like any of them. Um, I just don't like the sound of this album at all, so probably a big shocker, probably gonna piss loads of people off, but I'm not into that kind of music, so, you know, fuck you. This is going last on my list, easily for me, it's the one I'm never gonna listen to again, don't like it, don't care for it, fucking next. So, next, we have Symphonies of Sickness, so from here on out, I enjoy these albums, these albums are good. This one, so much better than the fucking debut. These songs are actually quite long. You know, some of these songs are like three minutes, four minutes long. I can actually hold on to something if it's three minutes long. You know, there's parts I can like get used to. Um, it has the same aggressiveness as the debut, but more catchy, more catchy. The vocals are better on it. Uh, the song structures of songs, you know, the better. You know, it makes the songs longer, but retains the heaviness from the debut. And that's what I love about this album. Love the longer songs on this one, love how they're progressing, and I think Carcass just gets better and better. I think they get better and better. Uh, I know a lot of people love the first two, have them top. For me, I think the next one, Necroticism, is a massive leap up from even this one, and this is a massive leap up from the debut. But yeah, love the sound on this one, love how they progressed and just matured and, you know, created better music, because the music on this one is just, it's just better. So next up we have Swan Song. People are gonna go fucking mental. Swan Song is a great album. This one, from here on out, these albums are amazing. Those two were okay, these are amazing. This one especially, it's groovy as fuck. Some of the grooves on here, the catchiness, it's more polished, it's after hard work, so you know, they got that kind of melodic edge to it. But this one is very, catchy compared to every other album they've done. Uh, it's probably why people hate it, because they think it's a bit more mainstream. Nah, it's just more catchy. I don't really know why people shit on it, because the melodies in here are amazing. You know, it's fun death metal. This is a fun death metal album. This album is fun for death metal. It's a, it's a great time. It's kind of like um, Wolverine Blues by Entombed, if you know that album. It's that kind of death and roll sound. People shit on that as well, but that's a fantastic album too. These go hand in hand, great shit. I mean, starting off, the very first song just makes you wanna dance. And <laughs> it's fun, makes you wanna dance. Tomorrow Belongs to Nobody is a great song as well. And Black Star's funky. This has great songs on, so I don't understand the hate piece for this one. I will defend it. I'll put it higher than the fucking first two albums. No questions asked. I'd rather put this on any day of the week than those two albums, so. Yeah, from here on out, all these albums, fucking flawless. So next up is Necroticism. 
another fan favorite and I can agree this one is amazing the the top three I had a real hard time deciding the order because they all have the merits this one has a kind of evil sound it's more like the first two albums but way more melodic and way more catchy it's in that perfect mid spot you know it's catchy but it's also heavy as fuck and this is the most death metally sounding they've ever been you know the first two were like grindy this one is just pure fucking death metal pure fucking death metal and corporal jigsaw quandary has just the best melody in i mean you can't deny that that has an amazing melody symposium of sickness these songs that long you know again more to latch on to they're not death and roll they're just pure fucking death his vocals we haven't even talked about his vocals they're kind of they are more deaf on this one, but all throughout, they kind of have this blackened edge to it. So it sounds like he's singing in a black metal band, but he's in a death metal band, and it works so well. Very unique for Carcass. The vocals are very unique, and they fit really well. And this album, um, it's a bit more gruff, a bit more, you know, death metal-y, I should say, than the a lot of the other albums, but they just work so well with the music, and the melodies held within. Oh, this album's sick. Incarnated Solvent Abuse as well, yeah. Hit after hit on this album. It's a fantastic album from start to finish, and I want to put it higher, because I think the, the top three on my ranking are all flawless. This is no exception, I just prefer the other two. If you're looking for a more death metal sounding album, then you can do no wrong with Necroticism, because it's probably the best one. If I was gonna give like the best death metal album by Carcass, Necroticism will be top of my list, but Let's move on to the next two. And coming in at number two, shocker, is Heartwork. Yep, you, but you thought it would be number one. So this is the album after Necroticism, and they did a massive jump from Necroticism to this. The sound is way different. Less, less pure death, more melodic death. I mean, they created more melodic death with this album. Every melody on every song gets stuck in your head. Every single melody. It's, I mean, it's melodic death. What, what can you expect? The melodies are going to be fucking good. And they are. They are amazing. Carnal Forge is so good. And the title track, Heartwork, I mean, come on. That, that is, is just too good. I mean, that intro, just, just jumps straight into the song. Fantastic opening to the song. And then the actual chorus, come on. But he's just like, degenerated. It's too good. Love the vocals, love the melodies. It's just, it's a more polished sounding carcass. And I like that because not many bands can pull that off. Bands can pull off necroticism. Bands can pull off the other grindcore albums. But no one can pull off this polished sounding melodic death metal. I've never heard a single band pull off this melodic melodic death metal sounding so polished but so brutal at the same time no one fucking does that no one fucking does that it ends up sounding cheesy Carcass ha made it not sound cheesy I don't know how they did it but they did it with hard work and they continue to do it with Surgical Steel which we'll get to in a second but there's, there's more songs to talk about because this album's flawless embodiment no love lost the melodies in these songs poof, get stuck in your head for days and days this mortal coil Yes, this is top of people's list for a reason. It's one of the best melodic death metal albums of all time. It created the fucking genre. So I'm going to give it some love. It's coming in at number two because Surgical Steel is that fucking good. Yep, the latest album is my number one. Surgical Steel is the best Carcass album in my opinion. I love, again, it's got that polished sound, which I don't think other bands can kind of compete with, but the, the melodies were just pumped up to 11 on this one i think it's way more catchy and i just find myself enjoying just every song like a million times more than hard work for some reason i mean Frash's abattoir just kicks you straight into the into the ball straight away that's a fun song and some of these songs kind of sound like creator which i love uh how fresh it is but then you've got some doomy songs as well like a congealed clot of blood that's so doomy with that how slow that that song is and it's riff heavy it's kind of like a bolt for us long i fucking love that there's like fast, thrashy songs like Creators, fucking slow, doomy songs like The Fourth Crusade by Bolt Thrower. It's got everything. It's got more classic carcassy songs. It's got melodic shit. It's got everything in this whole package. It's the best package for carcass. It's the best fucking album. 
That's why it's number one. Granulating Dark Satanic Mills is probably my favorite Carcass song. When he's like, six, zero, six, and he's like doing that. It's like the granulating dark satanic meals. It's so good. So that song is my favorite Carcass song. The, this album is flawless. I think this is a flawless album. It's one of the best newer death metal albums. And it's surprising that the latest album from a band is number one. Usually that doesn't happen. It has now. This is a momentous day. The, the newest album from Carcass is the best one. And maybe the, the newer one this year will knock it off the throne. Who knows? And Unfit for Human Consumption, come on. That's a goddamn awesome song as well. So Surgical Steel is my favorite Carcass album of all time, and it's the goddamn best. So that was my ranking for Carcass. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you prefer the older stuff, which I don't really like? Do you prefer the newer stuff? Do you like Swan Song like I do? Let me know down below, and hopefully you're excited for the new album, and we'll see you again on another Quest for Metal.